All right, all right, all right. We are back with another video, man. Hey, man, I'm dropping videos at the video today. It's just getting crazy now. I told y'all I was gonna make a video uh, giving my opinion of why this whole street gangster real persona that a lot of black people, a lot of black men want to portray is, is unnecessary. It's stupid. It's senseless. I just don't agree with it. And I'm gonna say it in the try to say in a most respectful way and when I say stupid I don't mean the people that are doing it is stupid I mean the mindset of why you're doing it and the reason behind it I I understand everybody is not privileged to live in a gated community I was I wasn't born in a gated community I wasn't born in the hood. You know, I was middle class. So, you know, I'm not about to sit here and judge anybody. I'm not judging anybody. But I'm just trying to... Uh, this whole street code... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense because there's so many... Contradictions with the street code. There's so much hypocritical actions that are involved with the street code. And I just wanted to read some of these um, comments because, once again, uh, yeah, I just want to read some of these comments and then I'm going to elaborate. Because th this was the video I made about Whack 100 wants to fight 21 Savage. I'll whoop you, boy. So if y'all haven't watched that video, make sure y'all go watch it. But I want to read some of the comments and just respond to the comments in a video and not just on uh in the comments uh trust me he didn't okay blah, blah, blah. 21 was the real gangster 21 uh moves in silence uh now they call old head whack 100 what well, hey everybody is uh, everybody is, is entitled to the opinion i like whack 100 you know what i'm saying i, I think it's cool that an og quote unquote person that was involved in stuff is speaking out because i would like to hear from people that was actually involved in it and when him and six nine was talking one thing i respect about six nine what he said he was in that whole interview he was trying to bring attention how stupid the mentality of gang members are and the street mentality is because they break the rules and i do agree with six nine on this they break the rules according who is doing it but it's supposed to be what loyalty honor trust all these things but people inside of the game are not loyal to themselves they're not loyal to the people that they even a game with why would you if if this whole gang thing is about family and loyalty why did they go sleep with six nine baby mama why did they try to kill him uh, kidnap him why did they try to take his money rob him isn't that dis disloyalty like it's so many contradictions about that but um uh let me see good content Keep, appreciate you six nine and whack just need to do a podcast hey seriously though i will watch that six nine and uh whack 100 because at the end of the day this is just entertainment for me this is literally entertainment so some of y'all take this stuff way too serious but um you know uh street street aside as a man i can't get down with nobody who turned in the same people he did dirt with see this is a this is a thing that i don't understand how can y'all now i agree with that but the circumstances is not the same. If 6ix9ine would have got jammed up and his homeboys that he was in the gang with did absolutely nothing to him, 
they was doing right to him. They did not sleep with his baby mama. They didn't kidnap him. They didn't try to kill him. They didn't try to extort him. If they was doing everything that they did dirt with, and they did not do the stuff that they actually did to him, and 6 9 snitch, I would agree with that statement. If me and my homeboy go rob a bank, he get caught up, he snitches on me, that's messed up. Because we knew when we was gonna rob this bank, what was the consequences. And if we get caught up, you just get caught up. You don't bring the other person into it. That's different. But <clears throat> but if 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 me and my homeboy go rob a bank and the feds are on to us and I find out that my homeboy is still in money that he took from me that if if I find out that my homeboy is still in money that we stole from the bank and he's having sex with my baby mama and he driving my car and he's doing all this foul stuff you expect me to be loyal to him when he was the one that was disloyal to me that makes no sense I, I, I really don't see how y'all don't comprehend where 6 9 is coming from. Y'all acting like those Trey 9 gangsters did nothing to him. That's that 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 would have been a completely different story. If the people that he was involved with did absolutely nothing to him, then I can agree with this. But they violated him. So you want so this street code y'all talk about. This 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 street code. So it's so it's okay for a gang member to violate someone else and to be disloyal to the person that they're in a gang with. And that person that is doing the disloyalty stuff that's betraying him, the other person is supposed to respect that? The other person is supposed to honor that? The other person, the other person is uh, is supposed to protect the person that is violating them. That's the that is the stupidity. Okay, that's the stupidity that I'm talking about. Let's carry on. You jump in the streets where it's no love. Exactly. So if it's no love, where's the loyalty coming from? Why are people joining the streets when there's no love? That's the stupidity that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about people that are in the gang that are stupid. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But why are you joining the streets and you know the streets has no love for you? That's the stupidity part. That's the part that I don't understand. And all of a sudden he gets all the love because it's entertaining. Uh, it's it's called a uh, this is great review. You can touch on some points, but the only point you made with the twenty one was savage. You're calling him lame. Um, kind of lost. No, I, I I don't think. I mean, you are entitled to your opinion. So if you disagree with that, you know that's cool. Uh, Wack need to know them Atlanta night or gutters just like the ones in West Coast. Um, Somebody going to get their snot bot rock. I commented at the 10 minute mark. I feel like WAC 100 never dissed uh, 21. And he was 21, saw 6'9". He should have popped up and calling him. Every man know if you talking spicy about a man and you see them, you better have that same energy. I saw the whole interview with 6'9", and WAC was telling 6'9", the truth. Stop being gangster if you're not going to be ready for the consequences. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I agree. And 6ix9ine is right. He does have a death wish because a big, yeah, he, yeah, he really does. Um, he was supposed to handle his business if someone threatened my mom. It's war already. See, exactly. He was supposed to handle his business if somebody threatened my mom. It's war already off words alone. You might as well lock me up. <clears throat> Facts plus tax over whoever. <clears throat> but you kidnapped me. 
you was better off killing me. Ex exactly, bro. So not only did the six nine Trey Bloods, bro, like they they did so much disloyal stuff to six nine. And it baffles me that y'all overlooked that and y'all expect six nine to 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 not say nothing? To honor that? You want six nine to honor them being dishonorable. Is that a word? Yeah, I, th I think so. Y'all want six nine to honor <laughs> people that are disloyal to him. That makes no sense. Um, but kidnap, <clears throat> but kidnap me. You was better off killing me. The war would never stop. Forget the BM. Uh, she was supposed to shut it all down at the door. No man should be able to knock your girl unless that's not your girl. These are the reasons why people are mad. You are portraying the gangster now that someone uh, happened against the gangster. First of all, this video. Uh, first of all, this video is from Clubhouse. Second of all, why are you reacting to this video if you don't know the details? Because that's what a reaction video is. I watch the video and I react to it. Um, bruh, now this is what I want to elaborate on. Oh shit, my mic is way too high. Oh, my um audio was probably bad. This is what I wanted to react to. Bruh, these YouTube dudes that don't know nothing about the street need to stay out of stuff coming with the civilian logic. Like it or love it, uh, shit has rules. People that come up in the follow, hold on, people that come up in it follow those rules regardless if regular people don't understand. Okay, so one thing I want you to understand is, bruh, these YouTube dudes don't, don't know nothing about the streets. Need to stay out of the, uh, wait, 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 let me review that. Bruh, these YouTube dudes that don't know nothing about the streets need to stay out of, need to stay off of coming with the civilian logic. So my question to you is, why are street people on the internet talking about street stuff? Why you didn't talk about that? Guess what? Me as a civilian, I wouldn't know what street niggas is doing if street niggas wasn't on the internet telling me what street niggas is doing. I thought gangsters moved in silence. Why are all these street hood niggas on the internet flashing guns, telling people what they do? Why are they on the clubhouse if if they did not want civilians to have an input and to have a civilian logic, as you said, why are they talking about it? I wouldn't know it. Half of the people in the world wouldn't know their business if they didn't talk about it. It's not like I did research and I and I was digging in the it, bro. This is the internet. They are on social media. Why are these gangsters in these street dudes? On the internet. That that baffles me. So 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 wait. Y'all mad at us for talking about street stuff when the street stuff should not be talked about from the people that are in the streets. But yet y'all mad at us talking about it. If that's not the dumbest shit I've, I, that baffles me when I get comments like this. Y'all shouldn't talk about this. Leave it alone. Why are they talking about it? Shouldn't they just have a conversation between themselves? This is not like this is a tapped phone call. This is not like this is a hidden recording phone conversation. They're on an application. They're on the internet. 
they have to log in. They have to put in a password. They have to put a picture on their profile. Like there are steps to get into the clubhouse, right? Do y'all think about that? Like before y'all type these comments, like I, I don't understand. Y'all mad at us, but not mad at the people talking. But yeah, but y'all mad at us talking about it instead of the people actually talking. I don't know, bro. <laughs> that, that's why I say it's stupid. That's why I said it's stupid, bro. Uh, six, nine. If he would be black, he would cancel. OK, here we go. Bro, y'all dudes get on the Internet from y'all uh, civilian point of view with all this logic talking about the street point of view is stupid. Once again. I wouldn't be talking about it if they didn't tell us. Guess what? A lot of people did not know the true story, what happened with Tupac and what's happened and what happened with a lot of these rappers that passed away in the 90s, in the in the 80s. You know why? Because there were no social media. Word didn't get around like that. Street stuff stood in the streets, but now we're starting to learn about it because those people that were in it are talking. So back in the day when, you know, stuff was going on in the streets in the 80s, 90s, 70s, whatever. Guess what? It stood in the streets. Those gangsters didn't go on the Internet and type and talk and went live and stuff. Yes, because it wasn't available th then, but still, we didn't know about it because they didn't talk about it. Do you, do you, do you, do, why can't y'all understand that? The, the only reason why I'm talking about it is because they're talking about it. So you cannot get mad at me for giving my, my civil opinion when they talking about it. That's all I'm saying. This ish ain't for y'all to speak on. If it wasn't for YouTube and social media, people wouldn't have no insight. Exactly. <gasps> Bruh. That's <laughs> exactly. That's not our fault. That's their fault. What 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 a part? <laughs> Come on, bro. You cannot be serious right now. If you are watching this, I know you laughing right now because what you just said made absolutely 100% sense in the world. Let me read it again. This ish ain't for y'all to speak on. If it wasn't for YouTube and social media, people wouldn't have no insight. The question is, guess what? We wouldn't have insight if the gangsters, if the hood, if the bang bangs, if they didn't talk about it, we wouldn't know. So shouldn't you be mad at them for talking? But you're mad at us for talking. That makes absolutely no sense, bro. These strews have rules, like it or not. People that choose to come up in the streets live by those rules and uh, it ain't no rewriting it how it is. Like it or not understand it or not what it is. It's just like sports have rules and everything. Exactly. This is corny people putting input on stuff they don't know nothing about. Once again, I... <laughs> This is how I'm going to end this conversation. What I'm going to put what you're saying in a different way. If I get on the Internet. If my house has a pin code to get in the house, a code, right? Nobody knows the code. If I get on the Internet. And tell everybody my code, the secret code that is supposed to be for me and, and supposed to be for the people that live in my house. Please listen to what I'm saying and 
try to comprehend. If I have a code, a pin code to get into my house and the only people that are supposed to know my code is the people that live in the house. If I go on the Internet and I willingly give out my code. Hey, my code is nine, nine, six, six, nine, 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 six, 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 nine. And people come to my house and press nine 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 six 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 nine 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 six six nine, and they open the door and they walk in. Who should I be mad at? Should I be mad at the person that I told my code to, or should I be mad at myself for giving out the code? Because the code is not supposed to be known. With anyone else, right? It's supposed to be private. That code is supposed to be private. It's, it's supposed to be a very tight seal. It's supposed to be in the inner circle. So how did someone get into the house? Oh, because I gave that code away. Do you understand where I'm going with this? Do you understand why I say that this is stupid? Do you, do you understand why I say the mentality is stupid you're getting mad at us for talking about situations that the people that are involved in it are telling us ah oh boy 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 i just this world this world this world i don't know yeah once again this whole gang stuff listen i wish right i wish i wish in a perfect world, I wish all you gang members and all you street people, I wish like there was like like an island y'all can live on, you know, so it can be just just y'all. You know, y'all can only communicate to each other. OK, I, I wish there was like a gang island. All right. Just a nice little city, nice little block where it'd just be nothing but gang bangers and nothing. And, and y'all can have your own little section and, and y'all can do what y'all want to do and leave the civilians alone and don't tell the civilians nothing. OK. Because what you saying makes absolutely no sense, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. And, and I'm saying this in the most respectful way. This is getting corny. People putting input on stuff they don't know nothing about. Guess what? We wouldn't know about it if they wasn't talking about it. I, I don't know. I, it, <sighs> hey, I, I, I guess it's not meant for me to understand because I'm not street. But, but I thought street people ain't supposed to be talking about street stuff. So it's, it's I, I don't know. It's... <sighs> I'm about to go lay down. My head hurts. <laughs> but anyway, y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Like, I, I, I don't understand people's logic. I really don't. It's your boy DMD. I'm signing out. Peace.